I'll be reading from Matthew chapter 27, verses 41 to 42. Matthew chapter 27, verses 41 to 42. In the same way, the chief priest, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross and we will believe in him. Notice what they said. He saved others, but he can't save himself. They were right. They were definitely right. They were wrong in one sense, but they were right in a truer sense. You say that's a paradox. Have you ever thought that there are a lot of paradoxes connected with the cross? It was hate that put him on the cross, but it was God's love that put him there. It was the sins of men, but it was the mercy of God. On and on we could go naming the paradoxes connected with the cross. Hell was celebrated. They thought this was the greatest victory of all. But in reality it was the greatest defeat the devil had ever suffered. So how could they be right and wrong at the same time when they said he saved others but he can't save himself? They were wrong in this sense. Jesus had the power to come down from the cross. Remember he said that he could have prayed to his father and his father would have given him more than 12 legions of angels. One legion was 6,000. 12 legions was 72,000. But Jesus could have prayed to his father and his father would have given him more than 72,000 angels. In 2 Kings 19 verse 35, when Jerusalem was about to be besieged by the Assyrians, the Lord sent out one angel who by himself put to death 185,000 Assyrians. If one angel could take care of 185,000, what about more than 72,000 angels? He could have come down from the cross. Isn't it interesting that the one whose ministry was to be so rich in miracles started out his ministry refusing to perform a miracle when he refused to turn those stones into bread? Then he ended his ministry refusing to perform a miracle when he refused to come down from the cross. Why? He could have turned those stones into bread and he could have come down from the cross. He always refused for himself the power that God had given him for others. He came for others. He was constantly interested in others. So they had, he had the power to come down from the cross. They were wrong in that sense. But they were right in a truer sense. If he had saved himself, he would never have become my Savior. You and I would be doomed. It took that death and he recognized it I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me a sinner condemned and unclean oh how marvelous oh how wonderful and my song shall ever be oh how marvelous Oh, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. Let's pray. Dear Father, we don't deserve you, but thank you for Jesus. Thank you for this bread and thank you for this cup. In Jesus' name, amen.